Welcome to P Acoustic Paradiso. I'm Ben, and it's a pleasure to be here, surrounded by three of the new Gibson uh, artist signature models. Um, there's quite a few new Gibson artist models coming out, but these are the three we have in stock at the moment. I'm going to start with this one, which is the new acoustic guitar from the new Gibson brand ambassador that is Dave Mustaine, uh, famously of Megadeth and famously not really an acoustic player much. But this guitar is a first for Gibson in as much as it is their first ever acoustic guitar with a 24 fret neck. So yeah, all the way up here, if you, uh, if you need to get up that high on your acoustic, you can. Um, so that's that's great. It's based on the, um, the the songwriter body shape that Gibson have, although it's a slightly uh, narrower body um, at Dave Mustaine's request. So it's walnut back and sides with a spruce top, um, mahogany neck with an ebony fingerboard. It has got these, uh, I think they call them tooth inlays, which are quite cool. And it's got this um, skull at the top, uh, which, you know, again, it's part of the kind of Dave Mustaine logo and branding and everything. This one is a limited edition because inside the guitar on the on the sticker there, there it's a signed one. There's only a hundred of these guitars which come with a signed sticker. Um, these ones retail at £4,595 I believe. Um, there will be some versions available without the signed sticker which are going to be around three and a half thousand. So there. Um, <laughs> It's, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's a Gibson songwriter guitar. It sounds great. It's comfortable to play. The neck is wonderful. It's, and it's got uh, an LR Bags VTC pickup system in it, which you uh, will be hearing at some point during this video. Um, it's comfortable to play. The narrower body, it does make it kind of slightly easier to hug in and feel like you're, you know, close wrapped around it because it's still a very big bodied guitar. Um, let me do some more, uh, some more playing on it so you can see what it sounds like in a slightly different situation. All right. So there we go, rocks pretty hard, uh, if that's what you're after from a Gibson Acoustic. Let's move on now to uh, this one sitting to my left. This is the new Jerry Cantrell Atone songwriter guitar. So let's see how that sounds. So, number two, this is the Jerry Cantrell 
a tone songwriter model. So it is a, it's the same body shape as the, uh, as the Dave Mustaine signature, but there's a, there's a lot of differences between this. The most obvious difference is that this guitar has got rosewood back and sides and a spruce top as opposed to the walnut back at size on that one. Uh, mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard. Um, it has got the songwriter body shape. It's a slightly thinner body again. I think, and I've just, you know, by comparing it by eye, it's ever so slightly thinner than the Dave Mustaine model. Um, again, the, another striking difference is this, uh, this pit guard, which is the Joe Cantrell um, circle in square, I think it's called. So it's a circle in the sound hole in a square in another circle, I guess. Uh, but it's really nice. Uh, it, yeah, the, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sold on the pit guard design personally, but we've just been talking about it here and I'm in the minority because everyone else thinks it looks great. Um, the, I really like the number 12 inlaid at the 12th fret as well. It's just a personal thing. Uh, these, the, the fret markers, the inlays are really nice. Um, the tuners, I really like the little gold Grover tuners. It's got Jerry Cantrell's signature on the truss rod cover. Um, and it's a very pleasing guitar to play. It's really, it's, I have to, it's, it's, a, it's a really satisfying guitar. It's got the, the LR Bags VTC system in, in it as well. Um, the smaller body doesn't seem to make too much of a difference to the actual kind of acoustic tone or the volume. Certainly, it's a nice loud guitar, really comfy to play. Um, yeah, I, re I'm, I, I really like this. I thought I was going to like that one better, but I actually like this one better. So I'm going to do a little bit more playing on it so you can get a bit of an idea. Oh, I should mention it's also got this JJ. Water cal, uh, sorry, water slide decal on the back of the headstock, um, which you know is there. Uh, so let's do some 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 more playing here uh, and see see what happens. Maybe try it in a drop tuning because I know that a lot of the Alice in Chains stuff from their acoustic albums was um, kind of I think D standard a lot of it. So I'll just go for I'll go drop D for now just to see how it handles those kind of low end things. So there, that's the Jerry Cantrell a tone songwriter. Uh, that's a really nice guitar, it's really nice. Uh, I'm gonna move on to this, which is the third of these uh, signature models we're looking at today. This is the Nathaniel Rakecliffe LG2. So let's see what that's like. So the third, and by no means least, of these, uh, these new artist models we're looking at today is the Nathaniel Rakecliffe LG2 Country Western. Um, 
This is the kind of most traditional of these three, obviously. It's based on um, Nathaniel Radcliffe's own uh, LG2, I believe, which um, is one of the smaller models that I think Gibson bought out originally in the 40s from some memory in the back of my head. I might well be wrong on that. And uh, this model is basically, it's built like an LG2 with a few cosmetic appointments from a Country Western. Um, if you don't know the Gibson Country Western, I believe there's a Cheryl Crow signature Country Western. It's a big dreadnought basically. Uh, but I think it's the, the, the kind of crown on the headstock and these fret markers are from the Country Western, but the rest of it is pretty much like an LG2. So it's a Sitka spruce top, mahogany back and sides. Um, it's got the bags, uh, VTC pickup system in it again. It's obviously the smallest of these three guitars. It's got the, the kind of vintage V-neck profile and it feels the most like a kind of, uh, like an old Gibson out of the three, if you know what I mean. And I mean that in, in a good way. Um, I really like the small body Gibsons. And this is a, this is a nice example of it really. Um, it's very lightweight and it's just, you know, it's it's a small guitar. If you've if you've heard me talk about guitars, you know that I really have a I've got a thing for kind of smaller body guitars, and it's very comfortable to play. You can kind of wrap yourself around it. Um, it's lovely finger picking, as I just did some finger picking on it. I'll do a bit of strumming on it too, so you can hear how that sounds. Uh, so the price on this one is uh, two thousand seven hundred ninety nine, which is the uh, the least expensive of these three. Um, yeah, let's see how it sounds with a bit of a as a bit of a strummer. So lovely. It's obviously got a very different sound to these two because it's a much smaller guitar. Um, but it's it's really lovely. It's got a lot of stuff going on in the mid range, which is really which is really nice. And I imagine if you're particularly in a band context, guitars like this can work really nicely because because you don't have quite so much low end as you get from these bigger bodies, uh, and you've got a lot of mid range punch. You can really kind of cut through with um, bass drums and other guitars and keyboards and stuff. Um, so there we go. I really like this one too. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's a treat to see all these new Gibson models come out. Um, they're doing some ex interesting interesting things, which is nice. So yeah, there we go. All the information and the specs are going to be uh, down below on these. I should also mention these these guitars all come uh, with a hard case, as you would expect for for a guitar at this kind of price point and, and quality. So they all have. A, in fact, there's one sitting behind me there, and there's another one sitting behind me there. In fact, the Dave Mustaine one has a little. Uh, silver silhouette of Dave Mustaine on it, which is lovely. Um, wonderful. So there they are, the three new artist models from Gibson. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I've been Ben, and it's been a pleasure to play these for you today. All right, see you soon.